Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve an example on polynomials. Find a quadratic polynomial each with the given numbers as the sum and product of its zero respectively. The question means we have to write a quadratic polynomial expression using these two numbers which represent sum of the zeros and product of the zeros. So first of all, let us know what is the general form of the quadratic polynomial. So the general form of the quadratic polynomial in terms of sum of zeros and product of zeros is given as x square minus sum of zeros times x plus product of zeros, which can also be written as x square and minus sum of zeros is alpha plus beta times x and product of zeros is taken as alpha and beta where alpha and beta represents the zeros of the given polynomial. Now here let us assume that the sum of the zeros is 1 over 4 and let us assume that the product of the zeros which is alpha beta as a negative 1. Now substituting the values of sum of zeros and product of zeros in this general form we get it as x square minus sum of zeros is 1 over 4 so we write it as 1 over 4 times x which is over here in the general form plus product of the zeros which is alpha beta and in this case it is negative 1 so let us write it equal to 0 now here further solving it x square minus 1 over 4 x and plus and minus is minus 1 equal to 0 now let us get it into a standard form which is given as ax square plus bx plus c. So basically we are trying to get rid of the fraction format and get it into a integer or decimal form. So for this we are going to take the LCM over here that is x square over 1 and minus 1 over 1 and this is also 0 divided by 1. Now taking the LCM here we have 4. So on the numerator we are going to multiply by 4 and here denominator by 4. Same way we are going to multiply here with 4 and here 4 and here also by 4 and here by 4. So here we get it as 4x square divided by 4 minus here we did not take any LCM since 4 was a part of this fraction. So we have 1x minus 1 times 4 is 4 over 4. I have to write here 4 as well. And this is equal to 0 times 4 is 0 divided by 4. Since all the denominators are same, we can write it as 4x square minus 1x or just x minus 4. The whole thing divided by 4, a common denominator, equal to 0 by 4. Since the denominators are same, we can just cancel it out and we get it as 4x square minus x minus 4. So this is the general form of the polynomial, quadratic polynomial. You can write it equal to 0 or you can just write it this way. So we have got it in the standard form ax square plus bx plus c. Now let us look at the second part of this question square root of 2 and 1 over 3. It is the same way where the sum of the zeros is given and product of the zeros is given. Now we have to find out the quadratic polynomial expression. So we have the standard form which is given as x square minus sum of the zeros which is alpha plus beta times x plus product of the zeros alpha beta. And here we are going to take it as x square minus sum of the zeros will take it as square root of 2 times x and here we have the product of the zeros as 1 over 3. So let us equate it equal to 0 for time being and this one also will equate it equal to 0 because we are basically trying to get rid of the fraction. So here let us take the LCMs that is over 1 and this is also over 1 and 0 is also over 1. So we are going to multiply the numerator by 3 because we have in the denominator 3 here. So trying to get the same denominators. 
so here also will be multiplying with 3 and here also with 3 and here also we take it as 3 and here we multiply by 3 so here we get 3x square so 3 times x square divided by 3 minus 3 times root 2x so 3 times 3 root 2x over 3 plus 1 over 3 is equal to 0 times 3 is 0 divided by 1 times 3 is 3. So getting the common denominator we can write it as 3x square minus 3 root 2x plus 1 and combining the denominators we can write 3 is equal to 0 over 3. Now since the denominators are same on both the sides we can cancel them off they divide each other and we are left with 3x square minus 3 root 2x plus 1. So this is the representation of the quadratic polynomial having root 2 as sum of its roots and 1 over 3 as a product of its roots. So this represents ax square plus bx plus c. Now let us look at the next part of this question. So here 0 comma square root of 5. You can give it a try yourself and check what could be the quadratic polynomial expression. So here 0 represents the sum of the roots and root 5 represents the product of the roots. So make use of the standard format. We have x square minus sum of the roots or sum of the zeros is 0 times x plus product of the roots or product of the zeros is square root of 5. So this is equal to 0 or we can just simply write it as x square minus 0 plus root 5. So if there is no fraction in the given expression or if the sum of the roots and product of the roots is not in the fraction form, there is no necessity to write the zeros over here. You can directly get the expression. So this simplifies as x square plus root 5. Now let us look at the d part of this question. So here sum of the zeros is given as 1 and product of the zeros is given as 1. Again we do not find any fraction for these two. So no need to write the equal to 0. So here we can write x square minus sum of the zeros is 1 times x plus product of the zeros is 1. So this simplifies as x square minus x plus 1. So these are kind of simple examples if you understand the concept and if you remember the formula. Now there are rest two examples. Let us look at it quickly. So here we have sum of the zeros as minus 1 over 4 and product of the zeros as plus 1 over 4. Since there are fractions involved, let us equate the given formula to equal to 0. Now substituting over here, we have x square minus, now sum of the roots or sum of the zeros is minus 1 over 4. So let us substitute over here, minus 1 over 4 times x plus product of the zeros is 1 over 4. So alpha times beta is 1 over 4 equal to 0. Let us further simplify this. x square minus of minus gives us plus 1 over 4 x plus 1 over 4 equal to 0. Now we have to find out the common LCM. These two have the same denominators. So only over here we write over 1 and 0 over 1. We will be multiplying the x square with 4 and here the denominator with 4. Same thing we are going to do with the 0 and 1. So here we have 4 times x square gives us 4x square over 4 plus 1 over 4x plus 1 over 4 is equal to 0 times 4 is 0 over 4. 
So the denominators are all same so we can combine the numerators and write it as 4x squared plus x plus 1 whole divided by the same denominator 4 equals 0 by 4. So here we can cancel off the denominators since they are same and write it as 4x squared plus x plus 1 and when you are writing the expression we can just skip this equal to 0 since we have got it in the form ax square plus bx plus c. This is the quadratic polynomial. Now let us look at the last part of this question. So sum of the zeros is given as 4 and product of the zeros is given as 1. Since there are no fractions, no need to take the equal to 0. And now let us substitute. We have x square minus in the formula sum of zeros is 4 so we write 4x plus alpha times beta the product is 1 so no need to simplify this further you have already got it in the form ax square plus bx plus c i hope you have understood all the steps the way it should be solved and like the video so if you are liking my videos like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching